Hepatitis C is a viral infection that causes inflammation of the liver. It is caused by the hepatitis C virus HCV, which is a virus that can only be transmitted through blood, and it can cause acute and chronic liver disease. Hepatitis C is a global health problem affecting millions of people worldwide. In this video, we will talk about the causes and transmission of hepatitis C, acute versus chronic hepatitis C, symptoms, and treatment. Causes and Transmission Hepatitis C is caused by the hepatitis C virus HCV. The virus is transmitted through contact with infected blood. So, sharing needles, razors, and other personal items that can carry infected blood can spread HCV. Also, sexual contact with an infected person, childbirth, or receiving a tattoo with unsterilized equipment can also lead to the transmission of HCV. Acute versus Chronic Hepatitis C Acute Hepatitis C is the initial phase of the disease. It occurs within the first six months after exposure to the virus. During this acute phase, most people do not experience any symptoms, however. Some may develop flu-like symptoms such as fatigue, fever, nausea, and loss of appetite. Acute Hepatitis C can be diagnosed with a blood test that detects the presence of HCV antibodies. Chronic hepatitis C, on the other hand, is a long-term infection that lasts more than six months. Approximately 75 to 80% of people with acute hepatitis C develop chronic hepatitis C, which can cause liver damage and lead to liver cirrhosis, liver failure, and liver cancer. Many people with chronic hepatitis C do not experience any symptoms until the disease has progressed to an advanced stage. At that stage, patients may experience never-ending fatigue, unexplained weight loss, easy bruising or bleeding, and itchy skin. Diagnosis The diagnosis of hepatitis C includes several steps that are critical in determining the presence of the virus and the extent of liver damage. Screening test The first step in the diagnosis of hepatitis C is a screening test that detects the presence of HCV antibodies in the blood. Antibodies are proteins produced by the immune system in response to an infection. The screening test is usually done with a blood sample, and it can identify whether a person has been exposed to HCV at some point in their life. If the screening test is positive, further testing is needed to confirm the diagnosis. Diagnostic tests If the screening test is positive, additional tests are done to confirm the diagnosis of hepatitis C. The diagnostic tests include 1. HCV RNA test This test detects the genetic material, RNA, of the virus in the blood. It is used to confirm the presence of active HCV infection and determine the viral load, the amount of virus in the blood. 2. Liver function tests, LFTs These tests measure the levels of enzymes and other substances in the blood that indicate liver damage. LFTs are not specific to hepatitis C, but they can help identify the extent of liver damage. 3. Liver biopsy A liver biopsy is a procedure that involves taking a small sample of liver tissue for analysis. It is done to assess the extent of liver damage and determine the stage of liver disease. Treatment The treatment for hepatitis C depends on whether the infection is acute or chronic, the stage of liver disease, viral load, and the presence of other medical conditions. Acute hepatitis C usually resolves on its own without treatment. However, rest, adequate nutrition, and avoiding alcohol and certain medications that can damage the liver are recommended during this phase. Chronic hepatitis C, on the other hand, can be treated with antiviral medications. The goal of treatment is to cure the infection and prevent further liver damage. In recent years, Newer medications called direct-acting antivirals have been developed, which are very effective and have few side effects. Some brand names of these medications include Zepetia and Harvoni. The treatment duration varies depending on the type of medication and the stage of liver disease. But most people with hepatitis C can be cured with a 12-week course of these direct-acting antivirals.